here today with Kim Zimmerman, Doctor of Audiology at London Health Sciences Centre. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about cochlear implants. So Kim, can you tell us a little bit about how the device works? Sure, so the implant is a device that we use for patients that have severe or profound hearing loss. It consists of an internal piece that the, the surgeon puts in during surgery and external pieces that will show you um, today that the patient wears on the outside that provide them access to sound in the environment around them. So the patient has a device that consists of a speech processor, a transmitting cable that they plug into their system, a transmitting coil that plugs in as well. Then they have some form of battery pack that provides the power for the system, a pin that holds it all together, and then a cover for the battery pack. So this is one system that you can get with the, uh, with the cochlear implants. And so this piece here actually will sit over top of the patient's ear and then the coil, which has a magnet in the center, sits over top of the magnet that's on the internal piece. And so the patient has to have that device in place in order for them to be able to hear. As soon as that coil comes off the head, they're not able to hear anymore. Can you tell us a little bit about how the device is programmed? Sure. So the first thing we do is actually take the device apart so that what we have left is just the speech processor portion and the transmitting coil and the transmitting um, cable. So we take those and we hook them up to the programming equipment that's specific for each manufacturer. And so then what happens is we place just this piece on the patient's ear and the patient's head. And that way it gives us access to everything we need with them hooked up to the programming software. And from there, we determine the levels that they need to have in their device in order to be able to hear properly. And so once we have the device hooked up to the programming software and placed on the patient's head, we can um, we do two things basically. First is we want to take a measurement of that inside piece and make sure it's functioning properly. And so this device has 12 electrodes you can see across the top here. Some have 16 and some have 22 that we program. But basically what we do is take a measurement of the inside piece to make sure that each of these electrodes is functioning properly and that we um, can use them. You can see on this one here that this electrode number 12 was not working properly and so we've actually shut it off. So once we've done that we then go into the programming software and you can see the 12 electrodes again and basically we ask the patient to do a mini hearing test on each electrode for us. So we ask them to tell us when they first hear a sound which is called the threshold measurement, and then we ask them to let us know when the sound is loud but still comfortable uh, for them, and we do that for each of the electrodes in the device, and that gives us a range over which they'll hear the sound through once the programming is finished. And so we do that for the 12 electrodes. We save the programs, and then we have the ability to make minor adjustments for the patient um, depending on which environments they're in. So if they play sports or if they they work in a lot of noise, we can make adjustments to the levels um, and to other parameters in the software that will allow them better access to sound in those environments. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today a little bit more information about how the cochlear implant device works. You're very welcome. My pleasure. I'm Andy Jelena, bringing you inside LHSC.